All right, hello. Uh, today we're going to take a look at another beginner After Effects tutorial, and today we're going to learn how to track motion. So open up After Effects if you haven't already, and go ahead and bring in the clip for the motion that you want to track. Um, I've already dragged mine in here. It is a uh, clip I have used before. It's of myself. Uh, wait, wait, wait a second. But uh, okay, so first thing first, you're gonna want to track the motion of the clip. So we are gonna come over here to the tracker panel and we are going to hit track motion and that's gonna make the individual uh, layer panel pop up. This is, like I said, one of the few times will actually work. Uh, so let me show you what we're looking at. This right here is your tracking point. This is what is going to track the motion of the objects in the shot for you and just to give a comparison what this uh, tracking point does if you ever keyframed in Premiere Pro and by keyframes I mean every single frame has uh, certain instructions for a certain object or you know kind of dictates the position or movement or something so with this tracker uh, point will do is if we you know set it on I'll show you how we set it but it'll set we'll, it'll play out the video and it's gonna follow a point on the object in the clip that you wanted to do and it'll have all that information of where it was at that point in the X and Y coordinate in the video and what will happen is, is we can attach objects to those tracking points so say we uh, put the tracking point on the I don't know the head and the heads moving up and down up and down then we can kind of just layer a piece of font next to that uh, tracking point or on top of it and then the font will be moving up and down with the head making it look like it's kind of like snapped onto it which is what we're going to do now. Obviously you can do more than just snap font but for now we're just going to take a look at this. So let's go ahead and look at the clip if I can if I'm allowed. Let's press play. Okay play. Okay so it kind of just freezes there. I don't have more to this. Let me zoom out of here. Let's see. Look. Huh. That's all there is. Interesting. Alright. Well, that's all we need. It's not much, but, you know, it's, uh, we don't need much to kind of display the basics of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to, just to make it easier, we're going to zoom in by scrolling in. Going to open this up a little bit. And when you're picking a tracking point, you usually want to pick something that's easily identifiable to this little box right here. So something that would be pretty identifiable, at least in this case, is going to be put it on the lip of something. You know, for example, um, that, that won't work too much because it'll be an outline and it's only going to follow the outline because how it ha it's going to follow the green and the... Uh, kind of brown beige color of my skin. So say we wanted to track onto Yeah. Let's let's have it try to find a good spot in this video that I can follow. Maybe my nose. Nose and nostril, I think. Because there's some black and beige that stick together and move like that. So just do that. Let's get small specific. I think that'll work. Um, if it doesn't, we'll find out right away. But here, let's try it. All right. So click over here. Track motion. Oh, sorry. I already did all that. Ignore that last bit of information. Just so select your tracking point. Pretty sure I have mine. Then we're going to go ahead and come down to the analyze part right here. And we're just going to click play. And now we're going to stop. So as you can see, the tracker point right here tried to follow uh, my nose and nostril. Unfortunately, it came to the other one because, uh, as you can see here, it, it was following the color, so it followed the lighter brown when my face was back over here. And now it's following the lighter brown on this side because the light's now on the side of my face. Um, but you know, that's not too bad of a track. Uh, this isn't going to be ideal footage, but this will work. Let's play that back one more time. Yeah, that's not too bad. 
So what we're going to do now, so we can have this information. So all these points right here, for every frame that it just played through, all that information we have, it's all right here. So if we want to keep it and be able to use it, we're going to come, come over here. Uh, right click. Let's see if I can create it. Yeah, I can. Okay. So we're going to come down here to the layers portion of the timeline. Right click. Come over to new. And then create a null object. Boom. And a null object is pretty much exactly what it is. It's just a null object. You can't see it. Uh, you can... Uh, the pretty much the only point of a null object is kind of to retain information and what we have here is information so we're gonna come over to back to the tracker panel go to edit target so fortunately uh, it already knows to apply the information apply the motion keyframes to this layer null object one uh, and then we're just gonna hit OK so that and once we've edited the target, we're going to hit, come over here now. Click Apply, apply to the X and Y dimensions. Hit OK. So now, see if we come. It takes us back to the composition panel. All of the information is now onto this null object, which is um, shown here. So if I click down to this, uh, the other layer, I have selected. You still see the null object. Now this won't actually be in your final product once you export. It's just kind of there to let you know, like, hey, null object, I'm right here. Uh, it's kind of the anchor point coming out right there. So now what we're going to do, just so we can attach a, uh, see how the null object moves when you play this. We're going to attach a font to this. Now we don't want to come in here, click on null object, and add a font to that. I don't think it works like that anyways. What we're going to do is we're now going to come over click on the text tool up here if you don't have that I'm pretty sure you can just press T control T and once I click on the composition it'll create a new text layer for me so I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna uh, type something in and put this right here and so now watch if I just play through on the timeline it's not gonna follow and snap to like the uh, no object is following if we want to do that we're gonna come down here into the timeline click on this little squiggle button right here this is called the pick whip I believe and what this does is basically if you want to parent parent which means uh, to have uh, one layer dependent on the other for information so in this case we want the uh, text to be uh, it, for it to be informationally dependent on the null object so we're gonna come to the pick whip here click and drag that's what I'm doing right now and we're gonna drag it onto null object and then I'm gonna let go so see now if I look over under this parenting tab that the text layer is parented to null object one right here so now if we go here and press play we notice that the font or the text layer is now attached to the null object. So now, uh, as you can see, that's that's pretty much it. That's kind of the basics of it. Uh, it's pretty pretty simple little thing doing here. Obviously, you can do a lot more than just uh, attach fonts. You can I'm trying to think of some stuff you can do. Uh, I mean. You know, when people do those uh, 3D hologram effects, like you have like a 3D hologram popping up on the wall, uh, they track the motion of, you know, where the wall is on the in the shot, and you know, you basically just create your 3D hologram thing, stick it to the wall like you would there, and all of a sudden it looks like, oh hey, I have a 3D hologram thing that I can activate on my wall at any time, blah blah blah. Um, but yeah, it, this effect is very useful, and it can do a lot of great things, and sell really sell an effect uh, depending on you know how well you um, track the motion of shots and you know this is a I'm trying to think of a good analogy this this effect is kind of like a paintbrush you know um, you pick your own paint and you make it you can make it whatever you choose to make it uh, but yeah that is basically how to track motion uh, if you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment. If you like the video, like it. If you didn't, send me a hate message. 
I really want to see negative feedback. I love it. I just live for it. Anything negative, anything just awful, let me know. But yeah, that's about it. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just hit me up, let me know. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.